Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the M408. It's one of a range of switches from the guys at QNAP that are managed 10GBE solutions. But not just managed but affordable 10GBE managed and not just affordable 10GBE managed but decent affordable 10GBE managed which is kind of rare really. Anyone that's ever looked at 10GBE switches before is well aware of the fact that there are kind of three big buying factors into buying any 10GBE switch. First and foremost, is it going to be managed or unmanaged? The difference being that you can tailor and create a much more bespoke and collaborative environment with a managed switch, but you have to pay extra for the controller. The second thing is, are you going to go with copper or fiber? Copper being the more traditional RJ45 and fiber generally being considered SFP cable normally you have to choose between them to a greater or lesser degree and thirdly you have to talk about protocol are you going to be utilizing a switch that's basically going to just manage or do you want one that's actually going to be proactive with regard to security uh, with regard to combining ports and connections and ultimately giving you a far more controllable and customizable platform what i'm saying is this device for about 350 nicker is all of them it is a 10 GBE solution that arrives with support of both RJ45 copper and 10G base T copper along with SFP 10 GBE with these combo slots there. So if you have a look at the front of that switch there, we've got eight 1 GBE ports there. And again, standard 1 GBE, we've all utilized it before. But these combo areas where you have these sets of 10 GBE ports, 10 on, on each of those ports that we combine together in pairs, hence the combo, that allow you to have a combination of fiber and copper 10 GBE. But it's more than that. It's more than just link aggregation, which in itself is already quite a useful tool. Link aggregation or port trunking is the ability to combine two ports and effectively double your available bandwidth and speed. You have to make sure that the source that you're dealing with, be it a NAS or an internet connection, is still giving you that amount of throughput to take advantage of it. But Mac and Windows environments have been and taken advantage of link aggregation and port trunking now for a number of years. Um, there are obviously other advantages to a managed switch that utilizes both of these um, environments. SFP is generally considered a much wider, longer area network where you can use much longer fiber cabling and maintain those performance benchmarks. Whereas copper or 10G base T in the case of 10 GBE ports normally has around about 20 meters in it. And once you go over 20 meters, you start to see degradation unless you go for quite high quality CAT6 and CAT7 cables. This allows you to create via this one managed switch environment, a local 10 GBE environment where people can edit photos and video in real time over the network on a NAS, as well as incorporating a fiber 10 GBE network. In fact, it's worth highlighting that you can take advantage of combination adapters like these that allow you to connect a fiber device and then output copper. So you could effectively turn this with these adapters, which are about 100 quid a pop, maybe 80 quid without the VAT, allows you to turn this switch into a um, combination 8 port 10 GBE switch with all those 1 GBEs for your post data, for your day-to-day -day use, for your low-level users. And low-level users adds on to another point where we talk about the advantages of a managed switch above and beyond that of link aggregation. First and foremost, it is the ability to have quality of service. You're, allowed, you're able to have a far more uh, customized environment where certain devices on certain ports of connections will always have priority. You can limit other ports as well, as well as have tailored security precautions across each of those ports. Now, if a lot of these things sound familiar to you business users, Chances are it's because you know, in the last few years you maybe bought a Netgear switch that did a lot of these features that I've talked about just now. But I'm willing to bet you paid about 600 to a grand for that kind of service. And this is an L2 layer switch. So this does have ACL control. It has all of that security protocol built into it for DDoS protection as well as wider area management and on top of that you've got the virtual jbot support and a lot of the functionality of the software that qnap themselves worked with in their nas environment moved into qss 
that allows you to create sub virtual networks within the device as well as connecting other switches to this and let this manage those local um, switches and create subgroups either within itself virtually or with those connected switches all of it with a topographical graphic available to access via the web browser and over the internet what i'm saying is you've got a huge amount of potential here and capability built into a switch that is arriving at about 300 quid and that's with VAT by the way so if you're a business user that's thinking oh, I'm just going to write off the VAT good for you well done but at least then you know how affordable this switch has the potential to be the other thing that I really like about this switch and I really liked the unmanaged version of this switch because there is an unmanaged version of this um, with the box we'll get rid of that again quite small um, this is a 10 GBE switch that's absolutely riddled in ports. Let's see how much noise it makes. Because one of the other big complaints about a number of 10 GBE switches, and particularly enterprise grade 10 GBE switches, is the sheer amount of noise they produce. 10 GBE produces a lot of heat. And this switch you know, has a lot of heat sinks inside and intelligent management of internal temperatures. The result is with that rather quirky movable PSU there that rotates around the base, that we can connect this and leave that switch running and we'll put it really close to the mic. That is the full extent of the noise of this switch. We've connected several devices to it uh, for our software overview coming very, very soon. This is how noisy this switch is. Now, so for those of you that have been following a lot of my um, Ultrastar content that we were doing earlier on and some of the overviews of the SA3400, as well as the brand new 53D, you will know that we are in close proximity with an enterprise grade 10G switch during those videos. And they had quite a lot of noise knocking around in the background. Now that was a switch that was 700 pounds and didn't have all of the features of this one. But as you can hear it there, let's bring that really close to the mic. That is the noise of this switch. It is an incredibly low noise 10 GBE switch. And anyone that's ever dealt with 10 GBE switches in the past will be well aware of just how much noise these things make. Now, when you get the device for the first time, it can be deployed immediately. You don't have to have any technical nous. This can be used the same as an unmanaged switch straight away. You can connect all your devices in and the system will use its default value so you'll never have to go into the software if you don't want to. But going into the software using QFinder, the QNAP NAS tool, a client for Mac and PC systems, as well as the mobile app as well, there is a mobile app, it allows you to configure the device, allow external access, create that bespoke security network for your home or business and not have to spend a chunk of money. But with the added benefit that because you've got the ability to have link aggregation supported across those groups of 10 GBE ports, that you can have multiple editors editing on a NAS that was perhaps connected by two 10 GBE ports here, have three editors running with link aggregation with 20 gig to the switch. And then you could have multiple 10 G connections if you so choose, or get a couple of 10 GBE cards, fill up a NAS with tiered storage and SSD, some hard drive combos, and allow multiple editors with this switch to edit on the NAS with the one GBE connections to be available to low level users doing post data um, or distribution. This does allow you to create a far more manageable and intelligent workflow. And particularly for low level content creators, especially like myself here, this is the sort of device that we need. We're looking at devices that aren't going to break the bank, that give us that kind of access that we need right now. Now, it doesn't utilize much power. It doesn't produce much noise. It gives you the security um, abilities. It gives you protection. It gives you access. It gives you link aggregation. And it does it without making much noise. What I'm saying is this device for me is one of the best switches we've seen in 2020. And I am looking forward to seeing the follow up 12 by the M1208 that we're going to be talking about here on the channel very soon. But otherwise, do check out the link in the description to NAS Compares. We've got a full review of this and some software overviews coming very, very soon, as well as visit the guys at span.com. They know what they're doing. They have got 25 years in the beers of data storage and networking. They can help you choose the right solution for you. But otherwise, click like if you've enjoyed this video. Click subscribe if you want to learn more. And I will see you next time.